Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of March 31st. Heading into April already. We had a big new moon yesterday in Aries. Okay, the theme for the week is the Magician. This is um, the number one card in the Major Arcana, the Fool's Journey. Uh, you know, we have Fool at zero, and here's the Magician at number one. And uh, this is a great theme for the week. The Magician is the one who can take the idea and the energy and manifest it. He's the alchemist. He's the one that can turn lead into gold. He can make that transformation. So the theme for the week is taking those ideas and making them real. What actions, what um, materials, resources, all of that, that you bring together to manifest your creative powers and ideas in the world. Your focus for the week is the Ten of Wands. You can see this poor guy looks heavily burdened. He's got ten wands on his back. He's scraping along his belly. It looks as if he's doing a... Um, one of the courses that the military do, the, the term is escaping my brain this early in the morning, but it, obstacle course, there we go. So, um, and he's just dragging himself along. The number 10 means his, he, we're at the end of a project, a stage, or a phase. And he, he's almost at the end where he can put this burden down. So your focus for the week is what project that has been weighing you down needs to be finished. What do you need to complete, let go of, um, it's as good as it's going to get, so put it down. Your action for the week is to be the Queen of Swords. Uh, swords is the element of air, of mind, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, communications, um, and especially the suit of writing. You can see her wonderful fan, the ribs of the fan are swords. She's got this very sword-like tattoo on her chest, um, swords emerging from the light behind her. She, this is a powerful queen with lots of confidence and lots of smarts. So uh, your action for the week is to be the queen of swords. Be the queen of communication, be clear, be confident in how you communicate about who you are, what you do, and your creative work. And then finally, the gift for the week is the Two of Swords. So again, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, communication, writing. You can see this figure is wearing the sign of Libra. Libra is about relationships. It's, of, of course, also the sign of the scale, that idea of weighing things back and forth. He has two um, swords in his hand. The two in the suits often represent um, choices, decision-making, um, balance, things like that. So the gift this week is an opportunity to really um, intu follow your intuition instead of being doing that mind thing. Which should I do? Back and forth, back and forth. Here's the moon. Here's that scarf across the eyes, which means goes, go within and trust your intuition. And it may also be a gift of having something to do with a relationship with someone that helps make it easier. So as we look at the story for the week, we have the theme of the magician. Remember the power you have to create magic. And that magic is your creativity. Um, how do you bring, how you bring ideas uh, into physical form? That's the magic you are. Practice being the magician. And then focus this week on what's the project that needs finished. I remember wands is that element of fire, of creativity, a career and work of spirit. So whatever has been weighing you down, whatever project, it's time to finish it and let it go. Then take action this week by being the queen of communications. It doesn't mean you have to be, um, unlike the king who's going to be powerful about it and not worry too much about where the words go, the queen is going to do it in a way that is both caring but confident. And then finally, look for the gift of intuition and insight that lets you stop um, all the mental chatter and trust your gut. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.